Hey, Brian, uh, it was nice talking to you today. Um, before I got too far with quoting you anything, I thought I would uh, show you what, what Ted and I were talking about. I'm sure we were on the same page, but I really want to verify some dimensions before I get too far. Um, I have raised this up at a five degree angle and a total of uh, the, the brackets, three inches. If I measure from the new surface you would be resting on to the old surface that it rested on, I've raised the roller up like 2.9 inches, um, which is a five degree angle. So if you want more angle than five degrees, <clears throat> you gotta let me know. Um, I'd also like you to take a screenshot, like take, take your phone and take a picture of this. This would be the bracket dimensions. I'm not sure if that one and a half inch dimension is far enough in because this um, roller conveyor model is just something I pulled off the internet. Um, <clears throat> this particular roller uh, conveyor is set at like 31 and a half inches apart. And so I think that's, you know, again, for geometry's sake, I kind of need to know roughly where yours is sitting. Um, I think 31 and a half. We talked about 27 and a half, I think, but being the tapered portion, but you said there was a portion that was not tapered. So I thought that was a pretty accurate uh, model. Uh, and then I just have, I have these two relief holes here <clears throat> so that when I tap the holes underneath for the set screws or pinch bolts or whatever you're going to put there, uh, the tap goes through. Um, but aside from that, it's a pretty simple bracket. We can laser cut it and bend it um, in a couple of, you know, a couple of bends. Uh, keep the cost down. I have it modeled out a quarter inch thick steel. Um, I don't know that it has to be, but that seemed, I don't know. I, I think I was more concerned about, um, you know, this dimension here. If it was much thinner than a quarter of an inch, then, um, you know, there wouldn't be much meat for it to rest on. And this roller has a flat spot, but I have it wide enough for the hex that you have. Uh, Ted gave me a roller and it had a hex on the end, so I was able to measure it. Um, but yeah, this would be what you would be getting, 30 or 60 of those, whatever you need. Um, I just want to verify some dimensions before I get you a quote. So let me know what you think. And if I'm going in the wrong direction, wrong direction, let me know. Uh, if you want me to raise it up higher, let me know. Um, yeah, let's talk tomorrow. Thank you.